Okay, I'm gonna do... Alright, to start this video, I'm gonna do something a bit risky. So I didn't start the car for... since uh, last week Tuesday and it's a Monday now, so it's... Uh, uh, six plus plus days. Never start, just been parked here, so... Basically, I'm gonna do uh, almost one week, no start, start with the camera on to see how easy is it to start Ramya after that long of a break usually for cars of this age uh, there usually is some issues la. so let's see unlock get in wait, uh, wait for the check engine light to go off first it does go off right okay it goes off Whoa, it is that easy to start the car after one week Hello and welcome to That Indian Talks Car's first official video. My name is Dharmeshwar and I am That Indian and you join me today in my Satya 1.6 which from now on I will be referring to as Ramya because that is the name I have named her from day one. So this video is titled... As most of you guys from Instagram will know is my little explanation on what it's like to drive this car daily and also use it as my race car that's why it's called living with a daily race car because I actually use this car every day let me just wind up the windows first and it's an old car so I have to hold the window up so yeah using this car daily is actually very interesting because I use it kind of more than daily, not just traffic jams and all that because I stay in Malacca for my studies. So, I shuttle up and down often, not every day, but often. And I use the car in Malacca a lot and I use the car in KL a lot and I'm always driving around hard, unfortunately. And at the same time, since I don't have another car, I'm using this as my race car as well. Actually, it's the other way around. Because I don't have another car, I'm using this car as a daily because I would still use this car as my race car anyway. Yeah, so, a bit about Ramya. Uh, it is a... Sorry, she is a 1.6 4G92 single overhead cam. And engine-wise, no modification. The gearbox, it was a manual when I bought it. And now it's still a manual, but now it is a 4G... Uh, sorry, it's a Myvec Ratio uh, box. It's not a Myvec box. It's got Myvec Ratios and a wedge lock LSD, which is uh, unfortunately failing on me. But other than that, everything else about Ramya is standard, uh, other than the rims. I've got 15-inch uh, T37s on this one, and right now I'm using Kumho PS31 tires, which are brilliant daily tires. Especially for somebody who pushes the car on and off as well, like they really do the job. Now. So yeah, living with Ramya daily and racing. There are issues, there's no doubt. There are definitely issues. Like a lot of people say, no problem day, run your race car daily day, just use a knee, nothing will go wrong. Well, nothing will go wrong, but uh, slowly, slowly problems will come. For example, my gearbox is starting to give issues because the kind of racing I do is uh, I mean you, most of you guys know me lah I do Gymkhana autocross a lot and only recently I've started doing more time attacks time attacks may not stress the gearbox that much in the conventional way because uh, you usually don't uh, you, stay, you don't stay in one gear for too long even in MIMC where I usually race in uh, Icro the Malacca International Motorsport Circuit even there, the most I stay is second or third gear throughout the chicanes and all that and then it's you keep changing gear, you know. But uh, in Gymkhana and autocross, you never go past second. And you abuse and abuse and abuse. Because it, it, that's how it is, you know. You have to stay in those lower gears because in autocross or Gymkhana, course is very short you go from cone to cone you do one violent activity to another like a donut or sharp chicane slalom course sharp left sharp right do uh, you already said donuts uh, figure of eights and all that so the abuse is a lot more and when you're running an lsd you're gonna have to keep it in your first gear 
you know, I mean this kind of LSD like this because I don't have that much power to throw it around, you know. So this kind of LSD, you're gonna need to first gear, handbrake, yank, clutch kick and everything so you can imagine the views it goes through. So that meant my synchro started to give issue. And again, like, this is not something everybody else will go through, okay? This is my experience. So my synchro gives issues, so engaging first gear has problems here and there. And sometimes, more often than I like, first gear will tend to come out. In traffic jam, that's pretty annoying. La. Like very annoying. So, that is the gearbox part. Bang is flying around. Other than that, engine wise, touch it, no issue. When I bought the car initially, before any race, I had to rebuild it because um, one of the main coolant hoses gave way while I was flying back to to KL. So, uh, I was doing top speed at the time and suddenly it just started steaming up at the front and all that temperature skyrocketed and that was the end of that. So I had to rebuild, um, I had to do an overhaul. And I overhaul everything back to the standard specification with a second hand, a lot of second hand parts because it's not so cheap. You know? And then, what else I did? Other than that, okay, other than that, it's all good. So when I go race, I use the car as a race car. Then when I go daily, I drive it as daily as I can. And you know what? Other than the gearbox issue I just laid out, I gave you all the big problem first. Or actually the only major problem first. Because other than that, I honestly, I honestly don't have issues with the car. You'll be surprised to hear this, right? My fuel economy is bloody amazing. I have gotten a maximum of 570km for one tank of petrol. Not 95, uh, not 97, you know. 570km day. That's a lot. Like this car's tank, if I'm not mistaken, is 50 litres. And I filled it up to the top from Kosong. And I did 570. And when I did 570, it wasn't completely empty at us. So if I was a bit more gentle, maybe I could have even gotten 600. So, I mean, those are things. A lot of people find it hard to believe when I say all that. Even I find it hard to believe. Lah. But that is true. So, fuel economy part, no problem. Maybe it's the fact that I did the uh, overhaul, maybe, you know. A lot of people will say that, that. And that is possible as well. Like I said, this is just my experience and okay recently I did my I changed my bottom two mounts to uh, solid mounts and the top two to standard ones because I asked around some people who's got more experience with uh, uh, this kind of cars and uh, they said that's the best combo because if I change all four the solid mounts and then my whole dashboard will be vibrating at all times and all that so I didn't want, want that because you see again living with a daily race car so i know i'm going to daily the car for race car yes it's good to go all for solid mounts but daily car no so i did the best of both worlds a bit changing the mounts right really helped a lot with my gear shifts the way the power is delivered there's less jerkiness going on everywhere so that is actually a very very big thing which i would recommend to others with satrias as well because it makes one hell of a difference feels very good to drive other than that Dailying this race car, Ramya. I got nothing to complain about. The power is damn nice. It's not so much. I mean, I've never dynoed it, but from factory, this car apparently comes with slightly over 100 horse. Or was it 110? Something like that for the JDM MMC version or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody, okay? My friend, I'm mistaken, just over 100 from factory. So, uh, after all these years, it's probably at 100, give or take. Mm. So, I got no issues with the power because I'm the kind of person who I enjoy power but I enjoy being able to put down the power more. That's why I was very glad with the gearbox swap I did because the ratio really 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 helps Ramya stretch her legs like whew, it really kicks a lot you know like it makes a one hell of a difference. LSD in the corners those of you who LSD will go like my god no other car uh, sorry not no other car like non-LSD cars cannot give you that kind of a thrill when you go into a corner you flaunt the throttle and the car just pulls you into the corner yeah, it's bloody amazing to feel so that is what it's like to live in a daily race car 